Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Raftree and I'm a director with Projects RH in Sydney. Tonight, I've been asked to speak briefly on how we introduce a new company into the market. Most new companies come to us having spent some time being developed and having a project in mind. The initial funding comes from the founder or founders and that's about 75,000 normally invested. The next round of funding comes from family and friends, which generally sees about 150,000 in cash invested in the business, plus time and effort. The next round of funding is from venture capital and venture capitalists, individuals who invest. It is that this time that young companies seek assistance from firms like Projects RH. They come to us and say, how do we move forward? We provide a variety of communication skills to help them on their journey. First, we work with them to ensure that they have good social media presence, which means that they have a good Twitter account but most importantly, a LinkedIn presence for themselves and the company. Plus they have a great website, which tells us about their product services and the people involved. Having established that, we work with them to prepare communication materials, which they will take to potential investors. This process takes about three months and they are always anxious for it to be faster. Having worked with them, we then seek for them to raise $2 million. It's important that 800,000 or so is put aside for the next stage, which is that they will go to a further capital raising, such as an IPO or trade sale. The balance of 1.2 million is generally used to continue the development of the product and take it to market. Most products taken to the IPO or trade sale stage need to have some revenue. That is a proof of concept of the product. Where that doesn't happen, people then seek to raise what's called Series A funds and Series B funds. These are fairly common in medical which the projects which need a long duration and less common in, in technical projects and fintechs. What we do is we work with the client to so that they have warm leads. We produce for them information memoranda, financial models, invest decks and pitch decks, and teasers. What's become particularly important in the post-COVID world is invest decks. The invest deck is a fully contained proposal in about 12 slides, often accompanied by a video, which explains the 12 slides. What we are advocating with our clients today is a three minute upfront document, uh, upfront video clip, followed by somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes where the founder presents the company, including the invest deck. The invest deck is important because many people we're now pitching to to raise money are long, far away and cannot be easily visited. It's important to understand that investment is continuing and the quality of what we send needs to be high as there's much competition and investors are very cautious how they invest. We work with companies across the spectrum to ensure that they get the best outcome for the money they need. And we enjoy working with entrepreneurs because they have a wonderful spirit. Good evening. Thank you. I'm Paul Rowtree for Projects RH.